I feel nothing? Wait, no. There, there's something. D warmth? The embrace of life. Life? What does that mean? Do you know, Do you know who you are? What? I am... Who... Who am I? What? What is your name? My... Name... Lucas. Now, now. Wake up, Lucas. Your birth breaks. My... Birth? Open your eyes. Dirantus, a special soul is born. What? Where am I? This isn't my home. I, I don't recognize any of this. What is this place? Another beautiful day! What? Who's there? Oh? What are you? Mamma mia! I know this feeling! You're a special soul, aren't you? Special soul? Who are you? It's -a me, Mario! I guess I'll be the first to welcome you to this world! Welcome! This world? Now that you mention like nowhere island at all. That's because he visits. it. This is Dirantus. Dirantus? I admit, it's a bit of a weird name, but that's a what it's called. But why am I here? W what happened to my home? I'm sure your home is fine, but as for why you're here, I'm not sure actually. What do you mean? It's hard to explain, so for now, I guess I should cut my break short and take you back to headquarters. There's some people there that can help us out. I'm not so great with history, even if I've lived through it all. Huh? Anyway, let's get going! But I don't even know you. Why should I go with you? Well, think of it this way. Do you know anyone else in this world? Well... I, I guess you've got a point. Alright, let's go then. Alright, Dick. Oh, Mamma Mia! I don't even know your name! My name's Lucas. Okie dokie! Let's go, Lucas! Greetings, Mario. You have returned early from your time away. 
Mario, you seem to have an unregistered individual standing behind you. Rob, this is Lucas. He's one of us. I found him while I was doing my morning exercise. It would be more efficient to your workout if you stopped consuming that unhealthy food. It is only blockading your progress. Hey, are you suggesting my pasta is making me fatter? I'll have you know, I've already lost some weight. I stand corrected. Sensors indicate that subject Mario has increased in mass since last scanned. Mamma mia! What kind of sensors do you have in that head of yours? My sensors are highly advanced and integrated with the latest technology. I can't believe you would call me fat! I am in very good shape! Why would you say that? Um, excuse me, aren't we going inside? Oh, right! Sorry about that! Rob, will you scan Luca so we can head in? Acknowledged! If you wish to proceed into the main building, then please step forward, unregistered individual. Scanning. Processing. Compiling data. Data compilation complete. Unregistered individual has been recognized as Lucas. Lucas has been granted entry access code 64. You may proceed through the main door. Good day. was Rob. He's a special soul like you. Huh? But he's just a robot. True, but the criteria for being a special soul is really vague. There is no set in stone rules for being one. At least, none that I know of. What exactly is a special soul anyways? Uh, hey, why don't I give you a tour of the place? You'll be staying here for a while after all. Well, alright, I guess. Okie dokie then, let's -a go! Well, here we are, the main lobby of headquarters. Whoa. And this is just the lobby? Exactly how many people are in here? Counting the two of us, there are seven here right now. You've already seen Rob, so there's still four more people you haven't met yet. Just seven people live here? Jeez, seems like a huge waste of space, just for seven people. Well, you probably wouldn't believe me, but there used to be at least 20 of us. But that was in a different time. Hmm? Oh, uh, nothing. What I meant was that while there's only seven of us here now, I'm positive more will show up eventually. Well, alright. So, where does the tour go first? Hmm. Ah! I think I hear somebody through this door! Why don't we see who it is? Who's that guy with the sword over there? Oh, that's Link! He's one of our veteran members! Hey Mario, what brings you here? I was under the impression you liked exercising more than actually training. And I was under the impression you remember I don't enjoy fighting! Come on, you know I don't remember a thing about back then. How do I even know you're not just making things up? Mario, you said he was one of your veteran members, and yet he doesn't remember anything? Oh, I see what's going on. You probably haven't told this kid everything, have you, Mario? <coughs> <laughs> don't worry, kid. We'll fill you in later. Mario's terrible when it comes to explaining things. Alright, I, I understand, I guess. Oh, my name's Lucas, by the way. You can call me Link. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think I'll be off to relax a bit. See you later, Mario, and nice meeting you, Lucas. Alrighty, shall we continue the tour? Okay. What other kinds of rooms are there? Let's see. There's the lounge, the viewing room, oh, and of course, my favorite place of all, the cafe. We got spaghetti that's to die for. You've got to try some. No thanks. I'm more of an omelet kind of guy. Then again, I, I could use something to eat. Alrighty, we're off to the cafe then. 
Ah, Samus! I heard you were back! I'd like you to meet Lucas! He's another special soul! Nice to meet you, sir. Hmm. I see he's not very smart. Um, Lucas, Samus is a lady. Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't... I, I mean, it, it's sort of hard to tell. Let me give you one piece of advice. Stay out of my way, and I'll stay out of yours. Sorry? It's okay, Lucas. Samus is kind of a lone wolf. You'll get used to it. She doesn't really mean any harm. He's right, although she isn't all talk either. Mario, I was trying to contact you earlier about a special soul appearing in the region you usually exercise. But judging from that kid with you, I'm guessing you already knew. My name's Lucas. Good to meet you, Lucas. The name's Fox McCloud. I mostly work on the technical stuff around headquarters. I just finished my lunch, so I was on my way back to the viewing room. Oh, did you finally have some of that spaghetti? <sighs> no, Mario, I didn't. How many times do I have to tell you that I don't want any? Oh, come on! It's great stuff! You're really missing out! Well, regardless, I'm heading back to the viewing room now. I'll call you over the PA if anything comes up. See you later. <sighs> Nobody understands the greatness of pasta! Don't worry, Mario. I'm sure it's great. So you'll have some? Um, uh, no thanks. I, really, I, I'm good. Mamma mia! Now how is that supposed to make me feel better? <laughs> <laughs> This is the cafe. We come here to relax or have meals. But I suppose we can cut the tour talk for until after we get in something to eat. I have no problems with that idea. There's even a device for preparing beverages. This world really is different from my own. I have a lot of adjusting to do. I'm in a new strange place, so I must make the best of my situation and learn from my new experiences. These kind people have taken me in as one of their own. I am indebted to them. I'll have to do my best to assist them in whatever way I can. Ah! Oh, my apologies! I didn't see you there! Are you alright? Um, yeah, I'm okay. I should have watched where I was going. I should have paid more attention to my surroundings. I was a bit wrapped up in my own thoughts. Regardless, I still offer my apologies. But, I don't recall seeing you around here before. I am Ike of the Grail Mercenaries, at least until I awoke in this world. My name's Lucas. I guess I just woke up here today. Ike is a special soul like you. Samus brought him here a few days ago. Oh, so you're a special soul as well? You must be a fairly trustworthy person then. Even he knows what a special soul is? God, am I the only one who doesn't know? Eh, <laughs> maybe. Just what's so special about my soul anyway? Well... Attention everyone, please report to the viewing room immediately. I repeat, attention everyone, please report to the viewing room immediately. You all heard that voice too, right? Hmm, it seems like your explanation will have to wait a bit, Lucas. <sighs> all right. I understand. Looks like everyone's here and accounted for. I suppose we can begin then. What exactly is this about? Well, to put it simply, the Monitor has picked up two new Smashers. However... So? If there's new Smashers, why don't we just go get them? I was getting to that link. The monitor systems are telling me of an anomaly radiating from one of the souls. Exactly. Here, have a look for yourselves. The monitor is saying that the smasher is growing and shrinking over and over. You can probably tell, but that's not normal at all. What about the other smasher? Is there anything strange about that one? No. However, in comparison to the first smasher, this one is further away. See? This green dot here is where we all are. The first red dot is the anomaly, and the second dot is the normal one. Wait. This feeling. I... I know this feeling. That soul. That has to be Zelda! Who is this Zelda person? She's a smasher, like us. She used to be a part of our group a long time ago. 
Wait, then how did she get all the way out there? Um, excuse me. I don't mean to interrupt, but what's a smasher? It's a simpler term we use for someone that has a special soul. Then what exactly is a special soul? I'm tired of getting my question ignored. I am curious as well. Even though it was explained to me earlier, I still don't quite understand what it all means. Well, it's complicated, you see? We may as well explain now. It will only get harder as more Smashers turn up asking the same thing. She has a point. I could help explain, but I don't remember anything about back then. Back then? Yes. Back before the world was reborn. Reborn? Since the two of you are hardly days old in this world, I'm not surprised you don't know what happened. According to Mario, this world has only existed for about two months. What? How is that? Like we said, the world was reborn. But why was the world even reborn in the first place? What caused such a thing to happen? The Great Tyrant. The Great Tyrant? Who's that? He was the result of a corrupted soul, twisted by the Gon's conflicting energies. None of us are sure how or why it happened. A freak accident, if you will. But that freak accident nearly destroyed Dirantus by himself. During this time, we all existed in this past version of Dirantus, and we all tried to stop the Great Tyrant, but we were no match for him. However, we managed to push him onto the last altar. The gods reappeared, opening the four gates, and used that power to tear the great tyrant's soul from his body. The tyrant's soul was thrown into a distortion in space-time and sealed there. Even though we managed to finally win, Dirantus' days were numbered. And so, the gods cast out the light that covered the entire world, and the world was reborn into what we see now. Wow, that's... I don't even know what that is. <laughs> That's what I said when they explained it to me. It may sound far-fetched, but something deep down in my gut tells me it's all true. So Dirantus was recreated because of the destruction caused by the Great Tyrant. It must have been a truly terrible beast. But that's all over and done with. We focus on what we can do here in this new Dirantus. Right. And all we can do now is find our fellow Smashers. Well, you explained what happened in the past. But what exactly is a Smasher? A Smasher, or Special Soul, is someone who, no matter what happens to the world, will always be reborn. They have a special quality that Dirantus seems to need around. In a way, we're the Guardians of Durantus. All we can do for now, though, is regroup ourselves. With our current capabilities and resources, we can't venture out to every Smasher that shows up on the monitor. But we can still focus on the ones we can reach. And if one of those souls really is Zelda, then I'm definitely going out there to get her. I'll go and investigate the anomaly. Hey, wait a second. I need you to give me a ride. My ship is made for me, and me alone. If you really want to go find Zelda, you'll have to walk. But I don't know the way, hence why I need the ride. Take him with you. I found him in that area, so you should be fine without me. Or do I really need to hold your hand the entire way and escort you there? Alright, alright, I'll walk. Looks like you'll be coming with me then. If you insist, then I'll accompany you. You can count on my help. Good, we'll set out as soon as we can. Hold on, why don't you take Lucas with you too? What? What, what for? Since both Ike and Lucas are new to this world, they could use the time to take in the scenery and get acquainted with their new home. Well, if you insist, would you like to come with us, Lucas? I guess I could. I'll try not to slow you down. I'm sure you'll be fine, Lucas. Alright, meeting adjourned then. Good luck out there, everyone. Good luck out there, Lucas! Thanks, Mario. I'll do my best. So, why did you really tell Lucas to go with them? Hmm, I'm not sure exactly. I just had this feeling that was what I should do that Lucas needed to go out into the world. 
I really don't get you sometimes. Mario has strange thought patterns indeed. Okay, you two. Our destination is the caverns. What do these caverns have to do with finding Zelda? Well, if what the others say is really down there, then that's where we need to go. Alright, let's get going. Link's Training, the rules by which we abide. A rope made from a snake, you say? Your world sounds just as strange as this one, Lucas. Yeah, I guess no one's home is normal from an outsider's perspective. Alright, before we go any further, I need to teach the two of you the basic rules of Dirantis. The basic rules? What do you mean? Hmm. Ah, okay. You see that tree over there? What would you say if I could jump up to that high branch easily? I'd say you're crazy. That branch is much too high. You couldn't possibly jump all the way up there. <laughs> then here's your first lesson. Now watch closely. See? Easy. What the? How did you... You jumped in midair! How'd you do that? You must be using some kind of magic to be doing that. Oh, it's no magic. It's called a double jump. You should get used to it, because you'll probably be using it a lot. Everyone in Dirantis can do it, even the both of you. It's simple to do once you know how it works. Well, how does it work? Just jump, focus your energy onto your feet, and kick down. It should be easy for the two of you. Mario says Smashers can adapt to Dirantis faster than others. Well, alright. Here goes. Amazing. That was... easier than I had expected. <laughs> Told you Smashers adapt to Dirantis quickly. Now you give it a try, Lucas. Okay, I'll try. It didn't work. Just keep trying and concentrate harder. Okay. Just jump. Focus your energy into your feet and kick down. I... I did it! I guess I forgot about my PSI powers. I'm not sure what that sparkling around your feet was, but at least you could double jump now. So now we can keep moving ahead. Let's go, guys. Right. Link, I've been meaning to ask you something. Yeah, what's up? Well, you've said that you don't remember anything about the previous Dirantis, but you know who Zelda is. Oh yeah, Fox said Zelda was a smasher like us, didn't he? Yes, so I'm a bit interested. It's... a bit complicated to explain. Link... Never mind. It'll take too long to explain and we need to keep moving. We have to find the caverns before night falls, at least. Then let's get going! Lucas, wait! Ah! Watch your step. You almost ran right off that cliffside. <sighs> okay guys, this is lesson number two. You have to learn how to time your jump to get the maximum distance. What?! We're actually going to jump off the cliff? That's crazy! I don't know. With the double jump, it should be plausible. But with such a large gap between the two ledges, will that be enough? That's why you have to get creative sometimes. Observe, students. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how it's done. Whoa! Amazing! How did you do that maneuver? I just did what I thought wouldn't work in my world. I see. I think I understand. I'll give it a try. Ha! I... I can't believe that actually worked! Nice job. Okay, Lucas, it's your turn. But I, I don't know what to do. Then you better hope your second jump is enough. If you're too afraid to make it, then we'll just have to keep going without you. No, no, no. I'll try. I'll try. Oh, damn it! You 
You're lucky I was there, or else you'd be on your way to an early grave at the bottom of that cliff. Th thanks for saving me. Let's keep going for now. Are you alright, Lucas? Yeah, I'll be okay. Boss, I was spotted a small group of smashers off in that clearing. No need to tell me, fool. I can see them from here! <laughs> Boss, you really have to stop killing your peons. There's only so many of us. Does anyone else have anything to say? No? Then shut up. I don't want to hear any more words from you worthless filth. Am I clear? Good. Thrice, are you there? Hello, hello! Who's calling? Oh, it's you, waste of space. Let me talk to Thrice. Well, she's too busy and doesn't have any time for you. Just tell her I found some stray smashers, so I won't be going to our appointment. Fine. <laughs> now then, I think I'll cut loose and have some fun. don't know the way! <laughs> well, I suppose I should have mentioned it earlier. But I am new to Dirontis. I'm not exactly familiar with the area. <sighs> Neither am I. Anything beyond the cliff is an alien to me. So we're lost? Now what do we do? We could just continue onward. If we get closer to the area where I woke up, I may be able to remember. Although that won't exactly lead us to the caverns. We can't just wander aimlessly. If we can't find the caverns, then it'll take even longer to get to Zelda. So what should we do? Go back? No, I've got an idea. What's that thing? It's a communication device I got from Fox. I'll use it to call for some help. You can talk to people far away with that device? What other kinds of technology are there in this world? Quiet, I'm getting a signal. Samus, are you there? It's Link. What do you want, Link? Well, I need a bit of help here. How long has it been, and you're already calling for help? <sighs> Fine. What is it? Ike here doesn't know the way to the caverns, and I need you to point us in the right direction, if you don't mind. Alright. Let's see. You're not too far off. Just turn northwest, and you should be fine heading that way. Thanks for the help, Samus. And also, by the way, did you find out what that anomaly was yet? Not yet. I'm almost there. Hold on. There's somebody heading your way. I don't know if they're friendly or not. Be careful down there. Eh, thanks. We'll watch our backs. We should probably get going then. See you later. Since we don't know if they're enemies or not, I think we should be cautious. Come on, you two. Let's get to the caverns. It's a Pokemon. I don't know much about these guys, but this one looks particularly dangerous. It doesn't look like it wants to step aside and let us through. Alright, you two. This is your final lesson. Beat this thing in the next week! We're going to fight that thing? We don't have much of a choice. Now try to keep up! <laughs>
a good battle, everyone. Nice job, guys. Now let's get going. We've wasted way too much time here. I see something up ahead. It looks like some sort of entrance. So is this the way to the caverns? Most likely. And in the deepest part, we'll find what we're looking for. But I thought we were just looking for the caverns. That's true. But our main goal is to find the forgotten gate that's waiting inside. We'll use that to get to Zelda. Come on, let's head inside. The Forgotten Gate. Do you think it was forgotten for a reason? I'm not too sure, but we could always ask Mario about it when we get back. Gotten Caverns, the Blade Dancer Dose Attacks. So these are the Forgotten Caverns, huh? They're a lot bigger than they look from the outside. That's most likely because these caves go deep underground. Okay, you two. Remember, our goal here is to find the Forgotten Gate. We do that, and we'll be able to find Zelda. Um, how does this gate work? Does it lead us to where Zelda is? I don't know for sure. The others never really explained it to me clearly. But according to Mario, there's supposed to be some sort of guardian that protects the gate. We can probably get help from him. That sounds reasonable. Should we get going then? Right, but before that... We've got some uninvited company. <laughs> well, well, it looks like I've hit the jackpot. To think you were looking for the Forgotten Gate while I was just looking to kill you. It must be my lucky day. Who are you and how do you know about the Forgotten Gate? I usually don't give out my name to trash like you. But since I'm not letting you leave this cave alive, I suppose I can make an exception. You may call me Dose. You should remember it, so that you can curse my name when I kill you. <laughs> Alright then, Dose. Now tell me, why do you know about the Forgotten Gate? What? Is it a sin to desire knowledge? Isn't that what every man strives for? To know all there is to know. And in that regard, I have a request for you, filth. I want you to tell me everything you know about the Four Gates. Do that, and I'll be sure to make your suffering end quickly. The Four Gates? I think Fox mentioned something about them when we were talking about the Great Tyrant. You know too much just to be an arrogant loudmouth. Who are you really? <laughs> my, my, you're so spirited. I think I'll cut your tongue out first. Uh, we're surrounded! Well, gee, it looks like we're stuck. Not! What? Grab them, you imbeciles! Those damn insects! Go after them now! Run while you can, vermin. 
Run while you can. That was a good idea using a smoke screen, Link. Thanks. At this rate, we'll be able to get some distance between them and us. Watch out! They're back! Just tear through them and keep going! Take this! Yeah! Yeah! Why does he want to know about the gates anyway? I don't know, but I don't like it. If we can get to the gate, we can lose them. Heads up! Here we go! Face my blade! Damn it! Here they come again! Come on, let's keep going! Right behind us. Go! Ah, it won't open, I. Let me try. What? Oh! Damn, it's not budging an inch. What's going on? Open the door already. We're trying, but it's not opening. Damn it! Let me try. I'll hold them off. Come on! Come on! Come on! Why won't it open? Wait! We're dead if we don't hurry! Link? Link! Well, now's a better time than any! Open the way for the sake of Dirantis! The door opened! How'd you do that? It's an old trick I learned from Mario. Oh! Well, well, aren't you just a regular magician? How nice of you for opening the way for me. Now I can just get straight to killing you, and then interrogate the Forgotten Gate's guardian for information instead. Uh, be careful. He's really strong. <laughs> so then, gentlemen, who wants to die first? Any takers? Lucas, Ike, get moving. What? what? It's the famed Go On Without Me song and dance. It's brilliant! But, Link... I can take him alone. You two go find Zelda. Uh, okay. No, Link. We're all in this together. I said go! Now! Be careful. Link! Hey, take care of Zelda for me. Okay? Link! Damn it! Ike. My hands are shaking. I, I don't know what to do. But, but we can't just stand here. Link, he told us to find Zelda. Ike, I hate to say this, but we need to go. Then, shall we get started, O oh valiant hero? To be honest... Hmm? I only did that because I could tell how strong you really are. Those two are no match for you. And I can't have them dying on me. <laughs> You're a very perceptive one, aren't you? I can already tell. We're going to be the best of friends. Enough talk! Let's do this! <laughs> Hey, watch it, buddy. <laughs> hey, this. this is for Zelda. <laughs> Take 
snake? I've never seen anything like that before. Do you know what it is? I think perhaps it's the Forgotten Gate. Well, what should we do then? I mean, it doesn't even look like this gate leads anywhere. Your guess is as good as mine. I've never seen such a structure before. Then we're stuck. So, I see the time is already upon us. How unsettling. Who goes there? Resuming the search, find Zelda. So you came through the door, you say. That doesn't bode well. What doesn't bode well? Who are you? Answer me! Very well, I shall answer. I am the guardian of the central gate. In this world, I am also known as Lucario. You're the guardian? Correct. Now what is your reason for coming here? We intended to use the Forgotten Gate to find someone. Yeah, but we were attacked on our way here and- No words are needed. Hmm. What's he doing? I'm not sure. I see. It's as I feared. The Wheel of Fate has already begun to turn. I will have to fulfill my role as Guardian of the Central Gate soon. What are you talking about? Never mind. You said you wanted to use the Central Gate, correct? Yes. An ally on the other side requires our assistance. We promised a friend that we would take care of her. I understand. <laughs> now pay attention. In ages past, the Central Gate was connected to a system of smaller gates that spanned all of Dirantus. Now it is all but forgotten. Only those who were reborn with their memories intact would remember this ancient relic. I see. So the gate can transport us to Zelda? Of that I am not sure. In the new Dirantus, many of the smaller gates are inactive and therefore inaccessible. They will only become active when one with a special soul approaches. As of now, there are a handful of usable gates, but hopefully I'll be able to find one close to your friend. Hmm. Well, did you find one? Yes, but it's still a long walk to your destination afterwards. Are you sure you still wish to go? Of course! We won't let Link down! Then prepare yourselves, and we shall proceed. So what do we do now? I must draw out some of your energy in order to activate the central gate. Otherwise, you won't be able to use it. The gate is inactive? Partially. In the past, the four gateways channeled their power and the central gate was active at all times. However, the gateways were sealed off in order to contain the great tyrant. And now there is nothing left to power it. So I must use my powers to force energy into it, if only for a few minutes. Why not use your own energy? Because taking that much energy from one being would be enough to kill them. It's fortunate there are two of you here. Oh. Are you ready? Um, yeah. This may hurt. Ouch! I feel drained. Your strength will recover soon enough. Aura, come forth! Whoa! The gate will only remain active for a few minutes, so if you have any second thoughts, this is your last chance to turn back. Do you have any second thoughts, Lucas? No way! Not after we promised Link! Very well. You should depart now if you wish to find your friend. 
Right! Safe travels. I hope we each live to meet each other again. Those visions... I pray they do not come to pass.